There's that tooth. And one more just to clean up. Okay, all done. I think they turned out quite nice. I just ground the bit to the profile of the teeth and I might need to do a little file work, but that's about it. So I'd say that is a success. I'll take and put it in the lathe to see how it meshes with the other ones. I might have to fine tune it with a file, but that's little to no work there. Now that I got most of it roughed out, they cut much easier than I thought it would. So, okay, I'll be back and put it on the lathe, see how it runs. Okay, I got it all put back together. Let's just do a little file work on the gear teeth right here just to get them to the right profile. But, It'll make a little bit of noise for now because I've read they don't ever make the same sound. But I got it real close. Most of the time it doesn't make a sound at all and I think there's something. Yeah. But yeah, I got it all put back together and ready for about. Flip it out back yours. And there's direct drive. Okay, I'll get this here. I got the tripod on the camera. Kind of thing. The only thing left to do now is the gear that goes here, which is over here and that will be a lot easier to machine than the big one. The big one needed all the torque and power. Um, I'd say that's pretty good. Let me move the camera up here. Yeah, I got pretty free rolling. I gotta fix the one shim back here. I got it a little tight but it's when I cleaned everything, I didn't realize there was shims hidden in there, and it washed the shims out. So I have to make new shims. I had to make new paper shims for the front here and some for the back, because it was completely gone. When I tried tightening the caps down, and they were solid. It would not turn at all. So I had to make new paper shims, and yeah. They're not pretty, but they work. The only thing that's left to do now is this, which is the lever for the half nut. I gotta take and take to my grinder and polish this up so that it gets rid of the black oxide. Take it back to silver. Then I gotta do some bondo work on it because it has some gaps and stuff in it. Transition between the metal or the braze and the steel and other little defects and then I'll primer it, paint it and give the silver handle a clear coat then I gotta do a pin right here which is just basic work actually but yeah that's all done Anything left to do is get new belts. I'm going to go with serpentine belts instead of the leather belts. I looked at them online and everybody said that it translates a lot more power and a lot quieter too. And with the endless belts, they don't. Or I would have to take and disassemble the counter shaft up here, just the bearings, and slide this down to get the belt on. 
but from that I won't have to worry about belt stretching or anything else over time, so I just leave the thing on. So, oh yeah, I'll shut up. Thanks for watching. See ya.